I know what you're thinking. How the f*** does someone get a thousand subscribers from a notebook? Well, I'm gonna tell you how the f*** I got a thousand subscribers from a notebook. The number one use of a notebook is holding information. The human brain cannot possibly hold on to all the different ideas it's constantly thinking of. It'll forget most of them within 24 hours. A lot of times those ideas are not very good. But there are some really, really gold ideas that come every blue moon. And if you don't write all of those ideas down, there's no way you're going to remember the really good one. So having a notebook or a some sort of notes app to collect your ideas is very important. And if you don't do that, then you are missing out. And this is my strategy on how to use a notebook to get a thousand subscribers. The foundation to every video, every movie, or every story you've ever seen or read is the idea. The idea is the most important part. That is the the rock that you put your video on. Everything after that is just, you know, building building the building on top of the rock. Anyway, ideas are important. Using a notebook, which is the main idea of this video, is a very effective way of getting a good idea. And there's there's no right or wrong way to use a notebook, but I believe this is the best way to use a notebook. And I'm about to share with you how I used this notebook to give me better ideas and to get my YouTube channel to 1,000 plus subscribers. How I like to get go through my ideas is I like to go come up with like 30 ideas for a YouTube video based off of what I think would be good, what I think would be funny, what I think would be fun to make and I make just write 30 of them down. And then what I do is I do research. So I will go through vidIQ or I'll go through YouTube or I'll go through uh, whatever I can get my hands on that'll help me do research on what ideas have the best keywords and what ideas have the most search volume, the least competition. And based off of that, that is how I will narrow down to five ideas. You go through those and you figure out which one is the best for titles and thumbnails. So if you can't make a good title and thumbnail with your idea, scrap it because you're not going to get views because if you don't have a good title and thumbnail, it's just not going to work out. No one's going to click on it. But once you get your, you write down your idea and you find the idea you want to use, you go and do the same thing for the title and the thumbnail. Maybe not to the same extent, maybe not 30 different thumbnails and titles. But you want a few different ones, especially because YouTube's doing the A-B testing. You might as well do a few different thumbnails and test them out. But once you have your title, your thumbnail, and your idea down, this is where you come up with the research for the idea itself. So if you're researching cats, you want to go and you're talking about like the best kind of cats, you want to write down each point that you have of why the best kind of cats on your list are on your list. That is my workflow for just coming up with the idea and coming up with thumbnails and titles and the best ones I could possibly do. And when I started doing this, that's when my channel started getting more views, was when I actually did research and I started paying attention to what people want to click on and not just what I think would do good whenever I'm making a YouTube video and spending like 30 seconds on the title and the thumbnail. So hopefully you guys get something out of this uh, if you decided to start right using a notebook for a YouTube channel or using a notebook just for your daily life, I would like to hear about it and see how it benefited you or did not benefit you. So comment down below. And then after you comment, there's a video right here.